most people in life are wondering how do I make a life worth living in retirement having when I wake this morning I am amazed at how much less I have of a beard on my face that I grew from my religion during the last six months at least I have had some sexual predators stalking my life if I say that nobody wants to believe me because of the lies that people tell themselves that I'll just cut a little of this and I'll do a little of that and no one will know because it's so much fun to put my hands on some in the night and I look in my pockets and I find there's pocket change now put in my pockets by who who thought that they had the right to molest someone asleep at any time whether they sleep during the day because of a narcolepsy illness or whether they sleep at night because it's natural to us or whether they sleep on a street corner because they're tired or whether they just collapse because the heat of the day is too much for them the liars of america are the illegal aliens who feel that they have right to mock us and mock our laws we also have plenty of americans that aid and abate and I say aid and evade the laws that protect their lives as much as ours. What I'm talking about is the people who are aware that someone is doing harm. Those people are calling, called accomplices because they are aiding and abetting the illegal activity. Companies often would prefer to attack a human being's life that brings to their attention what could become a major liability in the form of what most corporations call risk management without ever taking into account that if they don't handle that situation immediately and appropriately with the right liaison in law enforcement that their entire company could fold in a few years time because that person will never stop their misbehavior at the present time we've seen multiple companies send additional people or have interactions across their co-workers that are not even known about by their companies that are highly inappropriate what we know is that there are several companies on a strip mall that are using their social networks meaning the fact that they work next door to each other meaning the fact that they go in and shop with each other meaning the fact that they see each other and say hey because they're wearing the same type of retail gear today but what we know is that sexual predators exist everywhere. And a sexual predator is someone that stalks someone for a long period of time, steals food for them, from them, puts illegal animals on someone's hands to test to see how lethal or poisonous a spider, a centipede, or a snake is. There are people from Mexico that will take a bee put it in a jar and then put that jar on someone's hand while they're sleeping to let the bees sting the shit out of them because they've heard they're allergic to stings. We have people in the scientific community who are coming here from foreign lands that don't care about you or your hands. And I know this because when I was on campus, someone dumped a dead bird basically out of a window on me. Whether that was an omen, whether that was a Middle Eastern Indian thing, whether that was a warning, it was hard to tell. But God said, pick that bird up a minute and set him down again to see that he is dead. But let me show you life again. And he got the bird breathing again. And I actually used to have, at some point, a photograph of that bird breathing alive on my shoulder. God asked me to hold it for a little while so it would feel coddled and protected. I used my gloves, of course, because you don't pick up a wild animal, as cute as they are, if they're not truly yours by purchase, in terms of the fact that you're keeping them, you're feeding them, they're on your property, they know that that's their home, etc. You don't touch a wild animal as cute as they can be. But what I notice in this community, because I'm always around and because the animals of this community really run to me because of my kindness to them because of their talking at me and they have beautiful little voices some of those geese but the reality is that you know you're a part of the family when they start pinching you in the ass like they do with the others but that's not the funny part as a human being interrelating with our environment the sadness is that a sexual predator 
will often take a live animal and test their chemistries, their chemicals, their whatever on them. So some of the geese are being depleted, and that's a sadness. But if we have foreigners coming in from foreign lands who aren't here lawfully, taking our animals, killing them, and eating them, that may not be great for them because I don't know what that meat is like for them. Not my point, though, of this cast. My cast is that we have to be cautious in every situation. We have to be thoughtful of whether or not a group of people are testing our own employees. What we know is that a company can lose an entire group of employees based on one group walking in with a lie. We sort of learned that from some of the Lethal Weapon movies, when those were great by Danny Glover, because he was sort of the man of conviction, the man of decision, and the man that usually did things correctly. We also saw the temptation by his partner of things that he thought he should do or could do or wouldn't do. But what we know about police is that they are taintable. You see, an entire company of a police department can allow a sexual assault because they want it to happen. They want to participate in the abuse of someone. They want to teach someone something sexually because they are immoral themselves. What I have felt for a long time is that the abandonment of that type of company is essential for American survival. What we need more of are better trained military people who wear their uniforms proudly within the city and that we know the difference between a fashion state of a uniform sold at a store versus a uniform that has been fully earned by that, well, repertoire of that industry. You see, American Inland is at risk today. American farms and our food are at risk today. The environment and climate change is causing a lot of risk today, but this cast hasn't exactly come full circle, has it? What I'm suggesting is that we have to be ever vigilant, ever present, ever paying attention, and ever situated in a self-protection mode. Because one misstep with someone could end up in difficulty or hell. What I know about myself is that it's possible that I'll survive someone attacking my face, but what I want that person to understand is that they have committed a sexual assault with their friends and their community in a way that will put them in hell. The afterlife is not for everyone is what some people who are atheists or agnostics might joke about, but the afterlife comes regardless. And there's enough proof within our communities, within our, our television series, within our movies that there is an afterlife, there is a spirit realm, there is an energy force like we see in Star Wars and Harry Potter and other things. So I want you to really think hard about what you think Jesus thinks of you today. Because maybe you think Jesus Christ told you you had the right to sexually assault someone in your version of the world. But I'm pretty sure he wouldn't do that. And I'm not a Christian anymore because of the experience I've had with too many Christians of every flavor. Even a Muslim tried to convince me he was Catholic on campus when he tried to pay for me a paltry iced tea. What I see is an incredible amount of miserly behavior around every community. The ideology is that's just a derelict, that's just a pauper, that's just an impoverished person, that's just a homeless person, but there isn't a lot of care amongst the homeless, let alone amongst the community or the city where they're supposed to be safe from verbal attack, verbal abuse, sexual assault, inappropriate touch, and physical assault. I'm hopeful that the police have picked up those that are literally the type that will stalk, hunt, and physically attack someone just to prove their stupid 13-year-old mentality of physical prowess over someone else. Any person like me who's been trained in the martial arts or trained in the concepts of military knows that we can say, oh, I'm going to give you a lesson by smacking you for continuing to pursue me, but then we'll step back and go, go ahead, make your decision. You see, I have a little bit more legal liability on myself is not true. What I'm doing is giving you the decision of your life. Are you prepared to go to jail today for your stalking, your hatred, your harassment, your stupidity, and your abuse. 